Gama is a neighboring community to Ilori, the Kwara state capital. This is where the Arabic school, Mizbaudin Li Islami Gama, is located. This viral video emanated from the school. In the video, some of their students are seen being harshly beaten on the instruction of the leadership of the school. This has drawn divergent reactions from different quarters. In another video, the authorities of the school justified their action. They claimed that the students attended a birthday party at a club where they drank alcohol in contravention of the Islamic etiquette. When TVC News visited the school, authorities of the Arabic school refused to speak to journalists, claiming that the state government has already intervened. The government has already suspended the principal of the school and is planning to set up an investigative committee on it. The school also claimed that the parents of the students consented to the punishment. One of the parents, Mrs. Bashirat Olanruwaju, confirmed this. Her head has also passed through the same Arabic school. I wasn't angry seeing the video because I want her to be well disciplined. And I pray that my daughter and the rest succeed in their study. Some pensioners under the Association of Retired Civil Servants Welfare of Nigeria in Ado State have blocked the Oba of Arama Square in Benin to demand improved welfare, among other issues. The protesters, who are retirees from the state and local governments, wore black attires asking the state government to pay their gratuities and harmonize their monthly pensions. They also opposed the 1% allegedly deducted by the executives of another pension body in the state. Ever since we retired, he refused to pay our benefits. He refused to give us our gratuity. This is unfair. We have been crying to him time without number. You see, one of my, one of our men is just let's go now. Because of hunger, he said he has not eaten his money. Gratuity, 2012. Like those of us who retired 2012, 2013 for the state, they've been screened and they've not paid them. Then 2000, from 2014 to date, they've not paid. Then for the local government, 2008 to date, they've not gotten their gratuity. That for the local government. And, so, and, and some of the areas of the local government, some of them have not been paid their own uh, pension areas for the local government. Branch. The real cause of the crisis today doesn't have anything to do with uh, whether pensioners are paid their pensions early or not because they are paid their pensions early but the agitation is mostly internal because there is this statutory one percent that is that is supposed to be deducted from their pensions in, and the, the and the, the deduction is supposed to go to the national union entrepreneurship education plays a crucial role in every economy not only in nigeria but across the globe However, this component of education system is failing to achieve this goal, which has become a serious challenge for tertiary institutions. At this convocation lecture, Professor Mudupi Adelabu calls for creation of economic-friendly environment for graduates as entry-level entrepreneurs. She says lack of policy implementation, inadequate funding, and death of lecturers in the field of entrepreneurship must also be addressed. The situation in Nigeria, or the situation with Nigeria, as currently observed, shows that the majority of graduates, the majority of graduates are either not work ready or market ready. This is reflected in the increasing rate of unemployment in the country. The special advisor to the government on education, Jami Olawumi, says efforts being made on technical and vocational education by the present administration in the last three years is already yielding results. It is also instructive that all of us take more seriously the need to embrace the new normal. The new normal is not that of COVID. The new normal is that of embracing science and technology education if we desire to change the paradigm. 